Hey everybody, Greg Laurie with my friend John Irwin. John, this is it, this is the week. It's finally happening. Jesus Revolution is opening. Here's what's amazing to me. Seven years ago, we had our first conversation yeah. about this film. You tried to get the film made before Multiple times, yeah. uh, the date that it's being released, which is this week. And there were various obstacles and we couldn't get it done, but mm -hmm. now it's coming out. And it just so happens that God's Holy Spirit seems to be falling on young people on college campuses, specifically at Asbury College in Kentucky. And yeah. now we've heard it spread to other campuses. You've heard the expression, life imitates art, right? So this movement happened, the art, the film is made to show what happened, but now we see it happening again. So it's almost like all of this is coinciding. It's almost as though the Lord is saying, I want you all to know I'm here. Mm. You see Jesus uh, in Super Bowl ads. You see Jesus uh, portrayed so beautifully by Jonathan Rumi and the other actors in the incredible series called The Chosen. Now you see Jesus Revolution opening in a theater near you. What's going on with all this? I, God's timing is amazing. And um, I, you know, we, we made the movie because I read this Time Magazine article called mm -hmm. The Jesus Revolution. Sure. And that was when we first met, is I yeah. wanted to meet someone that lived this story and, and just began to study the last sweeping revival in, in our nation's history that became known as the Jesus Movement. And the more I learned about it, the more I thought, can this please happen again? Yes. Can this happen in our time? And that's why we've been trying to make the movie. And we've been trying to make it over and over again. We were almost there when COVID shut all productions down. Yeah. And God just had a timing for this movie. A big mm -hmm. part of the Jesus Movement in 1970 was this revival at Ashbury yeah. at, at Hughes Auditorium. Uh, and it, it lasted like 160 hours, and it was a big part of the Jesus Movement in the South. So for that to be happening again right now is unbelievable. And I was talking to Dallas about it, uh, Dallas Jenkins, who creates yeah. The Chosen. We didn't plan to have The Chosen Season 3, yeah. as he gets his campaign, and then Jesus Revolution all in the yeah. same month. But February has become this month of Jesus, you yeah. know, which the you know, in the entertainment industry, which is insane. And so yeah. about a week and a half ago, I guess, I um, was wrapping another movie in, in, uh, in Kentucky. And so yeah. I was in Kentucky, and it was like day two or three of, of this revival. And uh, my wife was with me, and, and and we were 60 miles away. And yeah. I'm like, I saw a post on social media, and I'm like, let's just go. Yeah. And so I, we went over and just sat. And at that point, it was early, so you could just walk right in and sit mm -hmm. down. And, and I just wanted to listen. And uh, and we sat there, and listening to the stories that these college kids were sharing is so much of everything that we've been praying for. And then also so much of what we dramatized in the film. Yeah. I think you called me and said, what did it feel like? And I'm like, it was exactly like the scenes wow. in the movie. So I just think for my, for, for this time, um, in the research, I, I heard the word desperation come mm. up a lot. You yeah. said it, it, the late 60s was a desperate time. Yeah. So similar yes. to the times that we're in now. And I just think we're back in that moment of desperation. Yeah. And I really think that this could happen again. And that's why we made the movie. That's been the heartbeat of the film the whole time. So for the timing to be what it is, God's timing is right. just perfect. And to see this begin to happen is unbelievable. So make some noise as the, right. as the movie come out, uh, comes out. But I was just so encouraged and inspired by listening to the college kids, their stories, mm. Beth and I both were. And you could feel God in the room in, yeah. in, a, in a powerful way. And that's what we've been praying for this whole right. time. So I just think we're back in another moment of desperation. Yes. And that's the last time God broke through in our country. Mm. And I think he can do it again. Yeah, think of the Jesus Revolution film as a tool, not just a movie. It's a tool for you to use. Uh, it's a tool for you to take a non-believer to. Check this out. You can even get an evangelistic conversation going by simply asking someone, have you heard about this movie, Jesus Revolution? Good chance they have. You can say, Google it right now. And the point is you can start a conversation about Jesus. It's been said that the fame of revival spreads the flame of revival. Jesus Revolution is a true story of what happened to me and my wife, Kathy, how we met. It's a love story. It's a story of a pastor who was struggling, Chuck Smith, a hippie evangelist that came to him and Chuck opened his heart and the doors of his church to this preacher and an explosion happened. And we're praying that this movie will inspire all of us to pray for another spiritual awakening. Get your tickets. Go see Jesus Revolution, February 24th at a theater near you.